Hi, and welcome to the channel. Today we are doing a video on how to set up a CSGO server on Ubuntu via SSH. This request came from one of our viewers to make this video, so let's get right into it. Before starting, you need to know CSGO is a very CPU intense game. It takes a lot of calculations to do things when you're in gameplay, so wherever you install this CSGO dedicated game server, make sure it has a decent CPU. The requirements before starting, I assume you already have an Ubuntu server, uh, you can connect to it via SSH. Then you're also going to need a Steam account. And the reason why you need a Steam account with the CSGO game, because you're going to need a Steam Auth ID token to actually get the game server to run. Um, and, I'll, and I'll go into that as we continue. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, open up our SSH. I like using PuTTY. So we're going to go ahead and connect to it. I know my SSH information is right here, but to be honest, by the time this video is posted, all that information is, is dead anyway. So we're going to connect to it via SSH. And we're going to go ahead and run a simple update command right now because we want to make sure our Ubuntu server is fully patched and updated. So you're going to go ahead and run that command first. And let's go ahead and uh, as I paste the commands, I'm going to put them right here. So you can see that in the video. And it's just letting us know it's going to use some storage. When it does that update, no problem. We're going to hit yes. I'm going to let this run in the background. So we're going to continue back once this is done updating. All right, you can see we uh, fully got everything updated. Now, the next thing we wanna do is reboot the system. So we're gonna put in our reboot command. We're gonna let the system reboot. And also another thing to note is I do have WinSCP here in the ne this other window. Um, that's something that you probably wanna download and install if you don't have. It's just an easy utility to connect to something uh, via SSH, and then you can upload and transfer files very easily, and you can edit files from there directly as well. You're gonna need this if you don't use Linux on a daily basis. It's just gonna let you edit files easily. I mean, you can use Nano and things like that if you're familiar with Linux, but let's go ahead and just use WinSCP and uh, get that installed as well while you're waiting for this to reboot. So our next command here is gonna allow us to enable uh, the Steam download. So we're gonna go and enable those packages. So hit yes to that. We're gonna let that download. We're gonna add this repository. So that's been added. Then we need to add this Architect here, so it downloads the right version. And then, like I said, let's go ahead and do another update check on that and let that run. All right, you can see everything's fully up to date. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the Steam CMD. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in and hit continue, hit yes to that, and let Steam come, uh, CMD come down. So our next thing is gonna be um, our Steam license agreement. So when it installs, it's gonna ask you to agree to the terms of service. So we're gonna get uh, agree. Hit OK on that. So the next thing we're going to do is now add a user called CSGO. So we're going to put that command in. And like I said, we're doing this because really for security reasons, you don't want to have everything running under root. So we're going to have it run under the CSGO user. So that's why we're creating that. And the next thing we want to do is go into uh, the CSGO user. So we're changing. So we just went from root to the CSGO user now. So now we're going to go ahead and install CSGO. So here's our next command. And I'm gonna make this window a little bit bigger here so you can see that all. And like I said, this will be in the description of the video. So don't freak out if you can't see it on the screen. So we're gonna put that in. So now it's actually download, it's actually updating uh, Steam CMD first. Then it's gonna go ahead and start downloading uh, CSGO. So Steam CMD is now fully updated. So now it's actually gonna be reaching out Again, the CSGO dedicated server files. So that's gonna be downloaded now. Now this can take some time, uh, depending on your internet connection, uh, to the dedicated server, wherever it's at, if it's in the cloud or if it's at your house. Um, so like I said, be patient. This could take 15, 30 minutes. It just really depends on, I mean, it's gotta download like 25 gigs. So um, like I said, just be, some, be patient. Let's let it uh, download. And then when it gets done, we'll uh, resume. So actually, while this is downloading, we can go ahead and go to Steam's website and we can actually get our auth key uh, or auth uh, login token, really it's called. So what you need to do is go to steamcommunity.com slash dev slash manage game servers. Once you get there, to get to the generate your, your auth ID, you need, actually need to log into your Steam. Once you log in, go back to that page, and then you're going to have some options to add. And I'm not showing you uh, that right now. It's because when I log in, you're going to see all my login tokens, and you want to make sure you don't share that with anybody because if – that dedicated server, uh, you know, gets shut down or banned by Steam. They actually can remove that game from your uh, library. So you got to be careful. This is almost like a password. You want to make sure you store it somewhere safe. 
So that's what you need to do next. Go to this URL, log in, scroll to the very bottom of the page, and then it says create a new game server account. You're going to put in ID 730 for CSGO, and then hit create, and then it's going to give you like a random generated uh, set of characters. You're going to copy that, and then we're going to put that in our command line for our next thing to get the CSGO server actually running. All right, it took us some time, but uh, we're just finishing up. So once it gets done downloading, now it's got to verify the update, make sure that it downloaded all the right files, nothing's corrupted. So now it's verifying all the files. So like I said, this will run for probably another five minutes and you'll be done. I mean, we're already at 10%. Um, and then we're going to run our next command here, which is this right here. So this is basically just telling us that it's going in that directory. It's uh, executing the SRCDS and game CSGO, of course, and then game type. Now this is where you change like the game mode um, and things like that. So I'm not gonna get into details with that, um, but you can change your map group here, um, your default map to start. So we're gonna just do DDoS as our startup map. So like I said, set Steam account is that ID that we got from that Steam uh, game, right? I'm gonna go ahead and paste mine in, but of course this is gonna get deleted after this video, so it's not gonna work. So don't copy mine. You're gonna wanna paste in yours. So it's gonna look something like this, something very long, random characters and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And then once this gets done verifying, we're gonna paste this command in our uh, SSH prompt here. And then now that's gonna start our game server up and then we can see if we can join to it. All right, so it's fully verified those files. If you get success app 740 fully installed, you know you're good to go. So it's going to right click that command that we just copied from here. And we're going to hit enter and see if it starts up our CSGO server. All right, it fully loaded up. As long as you see connected established for server, let's go ahead and load up our CSGO instance and see if we can connect. And keep in mind, like I said, you can use WinSCP, get into this directory in the, your CSGO config. And we already have a, a server config file here. So we're going to hit edit this. Um, and it's just got like our host name we can set. Um, a password if we want to put on the server, if we want bots on and off. I mean, this is where you would just change all your configurations. We're going to go ahead and pop that in there, and we're actually going to um, restart the server and then see if that config file loads up. And look, there's our server config, and you can actually edit this file directly. So if you want to make changes, you can just make a change here and then hit save, and then actually saves right back into the terminal, re-uploads the file and everything for you. So it's a nice thing to use. Um, and so, I mean, you can use Nano and other things like that, or VI to edit your files, but I feel like if you're not a Linux user, WinSCP is your best friend. All right, so now let's switch to CSGO, and we're gonna use this connect command in console so we can connect directly to the server. So if you just wanna do connect, the IP address of your uh, dedicated server, wherever it's at, and then the port number there, and let's get it connected. All right, we open up CSGO. We're gonna go ahead and hit the key next to one and open up our console. Then we're gonna paste in our command here and then hit submit and see if we can get connected to our server. It looks like it's loading up. Be patient, uh, it might take a little bit to connect, but yeah, you can see we're on DDoS2, so it looks like it's the right server. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's just test it out and make sure everything's working, yeah. And uh, yeah, and you can see the server name at the top right there, hosted by Ignite Pros. You can see that's in there. And so you can see demo two, which is what we modified uh, that name to. And yeah, everything looks good. We just added some bots on here so we could get some gameplay, but yeah, everything's working great. So now we're in the back end and you can actually see everybody that's like just all the stats and the logs and everything. So that's pretty cool. Now keep in mind, if I close this SSH terminal out, what do you think is gonna happen? Is the server still gonna run or not? Uh, I think it's going to fail. So let's go ahead and close out of this and let's go back to CSGO and you can see, look, connection warning. So how Linux works is if you disconnect the SSH tunnel, it's going to stop running whatever is running, right? So if you want this to run forever, let me show you a trick to do that. All right. So we're back in our terminal here. We went ahead and logged in. So now we're going to install something that's called TMUX. So this is an open source terminal multiplexer. I'm not going to get it, get really involved into it, but basically it's just going to allow you to have the CSGO server running, right? Now, also one thing to note, if you need to update the server, you can create little batch files to, to update them and things like that. But what you can just do simply is just rerun this command again. And this is basically going to go out there for that app. It's going to see you already got the game server. So it's going to verify the latest files with the files you have download the update, verify it again, and then you can obviously execute this command again to run the server again. 
So let's go ahead and install this multiplexer. So this is going to be our first command. We're going to install this. Go ahead and hit yes. And then now we'll be able to execute our server here again. Which before we do that, we need to change our user. So we're going to go to that CSGO server that we created. And then we're going to put in this command to start it. And now we're going to paste in that command, execute the server. Now the server is running. Now you can actually close your terminal. So if you close this out, it'll still run in the background. And like I said, again, if you want to update the server, make sure you shut down the server. And then we're going to run this command here to actually start that server. So let's go ahead and close out of this terminal and go back into our CSGO game and see if we can connect to the uh, server. So we'll open up our handy dandy terminal here, hit connect, and hopefully we don't get an error message here. And look at that, it's connected to the server and we close that SSH terminal out. Now uh, one thing to note, if you are unable to connect to the CSGO server, right, um, then you might need to check the firewall rules or IP table rules in the Ubuntu server. Now this Ubuntu server is a fresh install. There's nothing on it, there are no firewalls, no nothing. So everything's just open. Um, so that's one thing to check. Um, I'll give you a list of commands to uh, run if you do have a firewall uh, enabled or IP tables. I'll show you some commands that you can run to open up the ports, but it's basically 27015, uh, TCP and UDP. Um, now CSGO wants you to have more ports open than that. Um, but I feel like those two ports are good enough. It's always worked for me. That's all I have to say. If you're having issues, then maybe open up all the ports they want you to open. But those two ports, TCP and UDP, as long as you open them, you're, you're, not, you're good to go. Now, if you want to uh, kill the server and shut it down, you can do it two different ways. If you're already in SSH, you can do Control C, and that'll actually execute the server shutdown, or you can do this. So what you're going to want to do is connect to it via SSH, log in as root, and then we're going to run this command and this is going to show us all the running processes under user CSGO, right? And you can see uh, the one right here, um, SRCDS underscore run. So we're going to go ahead and type in kill and then we're going to put in that ID of that process, hit enter. And then we're going to rerun this command to see what processes are running. And if that one's still running, actually we should have executed the 2715. So that should have ended both of them. Um, but now your CSGO server should be stopped. So if we run it again, you can see nothing is running uh, CSGO wise under that user anymore and your server is fully turned off. So before I end this video, I wanted to show you one last thing. So if you do have firewalls uh, enabled or anything, you need to check uh, and allow these uh, two ports open. Now these are the rules if you're using the UFW uh, built-in firewall with Ubuntu, but if you're using IP tables or, or something else, another different type of firewall, then you just need to open up those ports, right? I'm not gonna list those commands, but it, uh, these are ones, for example, if you're using the uh, UFW. I mean, like I said, this is CSGO's, what, Steam's, like this is what they're saying, what ports need to be open, but I open up these two and everything works fine. So if you run into any other issues, then you might need to open up these additional ports. I just don't like opening up ports, so that's just me. Like I said, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please leave any comments below. Like I said, I'm not a Linux user. Um, I'm kind of just doing this for uh, one of our users on the channel. Um, but like I said, I hope this uh, helps them out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.